welcome to our class, Journalism 349, Copy Editing for Newspaper and Magazine. I know many of you, but there may be some new people, so my name is Dr. Mary Ann Pearson. I was on Maine campus for eight years as the Journalism Director of Journalism and Public Relations um, Program and transferred here to Online and Professional Studies in the summer, and I oversee the Masters in Public Relations here, the newly approved Masters of Arts and Comm studies which will launch in the fall and the bachelor of PR and bachelor in com as well so in this class what are you going to learn you're going to really perfect your copy editing skills which is a very very valuable skill when you are good at copy editing and you know how to copy edit for web articles for magazines for newspapers for publications of all types you really are a valuable employee you definitely when you can show that you have copy editing skills that sets you above the crowd because you know how to write well and you know how to follow a style guide whether it's an associated press style guide an MLA style guide or a style guide that a company or publication has created because they want their own style guide you know how to get familiar with the style guide and follow the rules if you are a proficient copy editor so in this class that's our goal is to help you to become a proficient copy editor the, that's the good news. The bad news, well, I guess it's not so bad, but the reality is to become very good at copy editing, there's a lot of repetitive practice required. So you have noticed that in this class you have a workbook assignment as well as other assignments. The way you will turn in that workbook assignment, you can either scan it and get it to me um, at my, uh, my fax number, which is 951-343. 3953. I'll post that this week too in, in the week one folder. But even better, if you have a smartphone, why not just take a picture of it and upload it? That works well too. And then you don't have to worry about faxing because it's hard to find faxes. There. I know over on main campus we had an old fax machine in the newsroom that, oh man, it stopped working long ago. I think you had to put that rolled paper in it, so it was that old. <laughs> but, but anyway, you will need to do these assignments and get them to me. If you are still in the process of getting your workbook and you don't have it yet, send me an email. I'll give you an extension on that assignment. So we have discussion boards every week. Discussion boards are seen by everyone in the class, and that is your discussion. Like you would do if you were sitting in a real classroom talking to one another, raising your hand and commenting. Well, those discussion boards can be written in a casual tone, not so casual that you use the letter U for Y-O-U, but in a casual conversational tone. And when you do uh, respond, when you read your friends and course mates post, please respond to two students so that you're, you're actually writing your post, which is one or two paragraphs, um, 400 words is the average, and your comments should be about 100 words um, to, your, to your course mate. Writing assignment one, you're picking five of the 13 points to understand U.S. audiences in chapter two and elaborating on those. That is a writing assignment for me. When it's a writing assignment, it's for me. When it's a discussion board, it's for everyone. Then you're doing your workbook assignment, and uh, then you are, will be either faxing that or taking a picture of it and getting it to me. Uh, you, you have two of those this week. So when you go into course information and see the syllabus, if you've not been in my classes before, the syllabus is the roadmap for the class. The weekly folder will have the most updated information because I like to keep the class somewhat fluid in that if we need a little bit of um, modification to the syllabus to keep the pacing consistent with uh, the class progress, then I'll make that in the weekly folder. So in the syllabus, you, you as you scroll down through the syllabus, you see our course goals and objectives. That's informationally. These courses are constructed in a very detailed manner and are WASC approved. You have discussion boards as the assignments. You will have writing assignments, student workbook assignments, and midterm, which will be open book but not collaborative. And then you have a copy editing comparison paper. So it's a really a class of practice. And I know that it may seem, you know, don't ever think something like this is busy work. It certainly is not. It's just like if you had a trainer in a gym and they told you to do squats. Well, to get your physique to look the way you wanted it to, you have to repeat those squats because you're developing muscles. Well, the same is true with copy editing. You have to comply with what, what the requirement is to become sharp and excellent at copy editing. And if you already are a fairly good editor, it'll just make the work easier. But you do need to do your repetitions, just like we do at the gym. Um, I am available by, by email. My emails go directly to my phone, so I'll be right back in touch with you no longer than 12 hours, but usually within an hour or two. 
you can meet with me here at my office if you have any questions or if you want information about our master's programs or or just anything that you need advice with or, or prayer. I'm a prayer warrior and I'd love to pray for you. You can make an appointment to come see me at the office. We can talk by phone, by email, whatever works. Um, I'm also a person who loves to mentor students, so if you ever just want to chat about your future and your plans, let me know. We do offer internships at OPS for students as, as is done on main campus, and I'm happy to help in any way I can with that. So I pray that you have a blessed first week, and I look forward to seeing you. Take care.